Hey everyone, it's Rob Loferis with Daily Classics. You know, each day I search hundreds of classified ads for affordable collectible cars that I call Daily Classics, mostly from the 1960s and up, and then I handpick the best finds based on uniqueness, originality, condition, and of course, price. To get all these details on the cars, please visit dailyclassics.org and please subscribe to this channel as well. Okay, let's get started with today's top picks for Friday, January 26th, 2024. And the first car that we found is this beautiful 2002 Cadillac DTS with 60,000 miles. The seller is asking $8,600 and it's located in Gross Point, Michigan. You know, the eighth generation DeVille was fully redesigned and the performance DeVille Concourse was now called the DeVille DTS and the DTS stood for DeVille Touring Sedan and was available with things like stability control and something GM called continuous variable road sensing suspension. The DTS came standard with a 4.6 liter North Star engine with 300 horsepower. The North Star engine this model year was more reliable than previous North Stars, but still had some oil consumption issues. But again, it all depends how the cars were maintained and serviced all these years. And this one does look like a, a nice car. This feature car appears to be well taken care of. Remembering that Gross Point is a very upscale neighborhood. It's possible this car is owned by a retired GM executive. And the North Stars aside, I feel this DTS is a lot of car for little money these days. Now let's get into the ad itself. Going into the ad, there's not much I can do on the walk around to really tear this car apart. I mean, the car's paint and the way its stance is, its chrome wheels. I mean, I don't even see any rash on the wheels or tires. So whoever owns this car has, has a lot of pride and ownership, you can tell. So all the panels and door panels and hood, it doesn't look like the car was repainted. Uh, all its tail lights and lamps, everything looks fine. There is some pinstripes on the car and a little golf logo on the back deck, but that's being very picky. Um, so overall, the car looks just beautiful on the walk around. And it's nice that the seller provides all these photos as well. And you can see a garage in the background. So the car has definitely been garaged all these years. Uh, the interior of the car is spotless. Uh, I don't even see, I mean, maybe a little wear on the seat panel here for the driver's seat, but I'm being very picky. I mean, I, I can't really find anything with this car other than it's a recommended buy. So uh, a nice one over there in Detroit. You get a chance to go there and uh, get to the Henry Ford Museum while you're in Michigan. Uh, you, you won't be disappointed. The second car uh, we found, and I'll share this one as well, is this very interesting 1977 Pontiac Grand Prix. This car has 79,000 original miles you know that's what the seller states anyway uh it has 8500 he's asking 8500 dollars, and the car is located in toledo ohio now we know that's part of the rust belt and this car does show some rust but looking at the photos there's not much of a description about the car but he does include some photos this grand prix looks to be the base model j and that came with the 301 liter v8 i mean the 301 cubic inch engine v8 the engine bay photos we'll look at. I'll do a walk around on the car real quick. Uh, I'm thinking this car is worth between five and six thousand dollars. Just up front, it might be worth, you know, seventy five hundred dollars when you go look at it. Uh, but I'm thinking the first person to make a real offer on this car probably takes it home. When we look at the actual ad, uh, again, no description. You can see there's nothing here, but that doesn't bother me because I normally call these people up, right? Uh, the car's got a garage. That's a good point. Um, it looks like in some of the walk around on the car, it looks like it has some rust, um, on the front, uh, here on the front, you know, hood. I I'm thinking that's a little rust. I can see some rust in the rear quarter panels a little bit. Uh, the rear bumper is pointing in the down position. So it was hit. That's not a big repair to fix that, but the troubling photograph is the engine bay, but it is all original, so that doesn't turn me off too much because you can see the surface rust on the car, but everything looks to be original, and that's a good sign. Now, I don't know if this, this dust on the uh, radiator shroud is paint overspray, but I'm thinking that the car may have been touched up over the years, uh, especially in the rear photograph of the trunk lid. Uh, it might have been painted and touched up here, 
it looks like somebody redid the trunk floors as well and respray resprayed that as well but other than that the interior is beautiful on the car look at that dashboard no cracks original steering wheel the seats look great uh so you know whatever the car needs on the rust repairs you are getting a, a very nice interior i mean the car the car shows very well i don't see any rust in the door panels i don't see any rust in the sills i really don't have any details on the half vinyl top but you know i'm thinking again i was thinking between five and six and maybe seventy five hundred dollars when you see this car up front but it's really a nice car uh, again it's the rust belt so you know you got to expect there's going to be rust on the undercarriage but hopefully not something you can't repair uh the last car for tonight we'll share is this beautiful 1996 oldsmobile aurora uh this car has got 63,000 miles i found this one in north fork virginia and the seller is just asking four thousand dollars and it was posted just 21 hours ago so this car is a direct buy i mean this car is beautiful the first generation aurora you know 95 to 99 was the best generation and it was it was built off the g platform but really had its own platform and it was a very rigid platform and a very very stable and well-built car the car came with the oldsmobile 4.0 liter uh, double overhead cam v8 engine and that engine was based on the cadillac 4.6 liter north star so overall this these auroras are beautiful they're noted for their overall build quality their ride the structural integrity and i said here in the ad if this car is real it's a solid buy and if we go into the ad itself oh look it's been taken down so that that just happened by the time i set up this video so this uh car was either sold or taken down i'm thinking it was sold it was definitely priced very well for uh, the condition uh that's a car i definitely would have ran off there and bought it you know Anyway, that wraps up today's Daily Classics Top Picks from Coast to Coast. To get more details on these feature cars, please go to our dailyclassics.org website. That's our Facebook private group page. We have over 10,000 members there and a lot of commentary about the cars we find each day. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel if you like it and share with friends that love affordable Daily Classics. Thanks, everyone, and enjoy and have a good night. We'll see you again tomorrow.